Welcome to the fabulous Amalfi Coast. I have been waiting so long to get here. There is no words to say how gorgeous the Amalfi Coast is. And today we are going to be uh, doing the Walk of the Lemons or Il Sentiero dei Limoni. And basically we're leaving from Maiori, which is one of the main towns on the, on the coast. And we will be walking through uh, communities and lemon groves on our way to another town called Minori. I am so excited! Hey babe, so were you excited when I told you I wanted to walk the path of the lemons? Uh, you always want to walk everywhere. I was afraid it was going to be another one of your brutal walks. You think I walk too much? Like you thought it would be a good idea to walk from Minori to Ravello, hmm? which ended up almost two straight hours of stairs to the top in the 40-something degree heat. Yeah, but the map said it was just a 30-minute walk. I don't think it factored in the 400-meter elevation. <laughs> My bad. But the path of the lemons was a totally different experience though, right? Yeah, yeah. It was an easy and enchanting walk with my chéri d'amour. But I'm still traumatized from the crazy Ravello hike. Come on, Bob. Stay in the moment. You're always right with that, babe. This is definitely one of the highlights of my whole trip. I'm so loving this. I feel like I'm in heaven. Because of the lemons. The lemons, the beauty, the walking, the people, so kind. Yeah. I love it. I didn't even know this existed until our hostess told us to come here. Ciao. The path of the lemons is situated between the towns of Maiori and Minori on the Amalfi coast. You may travel the path from Maiori to Minori, like we did, or in the other direction as well. We will show you how to get there from the boardwalk in Maiori to the path, because that's what we did. To get to Maiori, we took a ferry from Salerno. Both towns are accessible by ferry, bus or car. Don't you want to stay in a beautiful place like this? So we found the beginning of the stairs that are leading us up to Il Sentiero dei Limoni. It's very easy to find uh, off the, the water side. There's the kiosk where they sell the boat tickets and it's straight line upwards. Behind me are the stairs, so let's get walking. There's no actual sign that says this is it. Uh, we were told this is it. So if you come here, there might still not be a sign, but this should be it. We'll let you know. So it's taken us only a few minutes to get to already a high up point uh, from the city. It's a gorgeous view. There's still no signs. So I asked a very kind lady and she said to keep on going past the church, which we're gonna show you in case you wanna do this walk as well. It appear we're still on the right track going this way still no sign no need to go to the gym to do stairmaster when you have a lifestyle of going upstairs every single day finally a sign Walking the path of the lemons is so much more than just a nice little hike. It's an immersion into a historical path that was used in centuries past to transport lemons between villages of the Amalfi Coast and was the only connection by land between Maiori and Minori before the construction of the state road, which now connects various towns on the Amalfi Coast. This is one of the few such paths that have been preserved through time. You can still visualize the woman who would have transported these precious fruits from the hills down to the ports on baskets on their heads. Wow. Feels like it's 
like we're walking to secret path. From what I read, production at that time would have involved the whole town to do the cultivation of the land and apparently the men would choose the lemons to be picked and the women would transport the fruit. It is great to see local producers that are still living there and upholding the important aspects of the traditions today. The lady that is selling the lemonade has led us into the garden. She's so nice. People are really, really nice around here actually. And uh, it's just paradise, lemon paradise. The Amalfi lemon has been designated IGP, Indicazione Geografica Protetta, status, which means that its qualities and reputation are derived from growing in this area of the Amalfi coast according to particular farming methods. The very kind lady that we met on the path and who served us delicious lemon juice shared the stories of how she and her husband came to that place and what their life looks like. She explained to us that her husband uses donkeys to transport the lemons up and down the mountain now. It has been said that lemon farming on the Amalfi Coast is considered agricultura heroica, heroic agriculture because it takes a lot of courage to choose to farm land in such a challenging place. Although the path is relatively easy, there are a number of stairs to climb, especially in the initial ascent, about 400 steps from what I read. So people in wheelchairs or with any sort of walking disability, as well as parents with strollers, will not be able to enjoy this walk. However, if you are of average shape, you and your walking age children will love this path. Amalfi lemons are one of the most impressive lemon varieties from Italy and among the most highly prized lemons in the world. The variety of lemon grown here is called sfusato and they are used, among other things, to produce the famous Amalfi limoncello. Mm -hmm. 